gentleman is recognized for three minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Speaker, you know, the reason mysteries are called whodunits is because they start with a crime and then you have to try to figure out who did it. The Biden impeachment investigation isn't a whodunit. It's a what is it? It's like an Agatha Christie novel where the mystery is what's the crime? And that gets very tedious very fast. After 11 months of this, no one can tell us what President's, President Biden's crime was, much less where it happened, when it happened, what the motive was, who the perpetrators were, or who the victims were. Maybe the funniest thing I've ever seen in Congress was yesterday in the Rules Committee when Congressman Nagus kept asking Congressman Reschenthaler what the crime was, and Reschenthaler, who's not on the Oversight Committee and is apparently just waking up to the joke, kept saying he didn't know what it was, but that's why we need an impeachment investigation to find out. And Nagus kept asking him, but what will the impeachment investigation be looking for? And finally, Reschenthaler said, a high crime or misdemeanor, and Nagus said, yes, but which one? Now, Nagus, of course, was involved in a real impeachment investigation of a real presidential offense, the incitement of a violent political insurrection against this Congress, against the Vice President of the United States, against the Constitution, and against the election of 2020. We did not need Sherlock Holmes in a magnifying glass to find the presidential crime with Donald Trump. It came right into this House and smashed us in the face. Now, it's true Chairman Comer has collected a mountain of evidence over the last 11 months, tens of thousands of pages of documents, dozens of hours of interviews with government officials, but all of it clearly shows that Joe Biden committed no crime. Even their own witnesses that they called to the only public hearing they had said there is not remotely enough evidence to justify impeachment. Chairman Comer has bragged on Fox News about procuring 100 percent compliance with his subpoenas. So forget about obstruction, which I hear them muttering about today. Mr. Speaker, I played a game with uh, the little kids in our family at Thanksgiving. I asked them whether they'd seen my henway. And when they said, what's a henway? I said four or five pounds. It's a dad joke, and some of the bigger kids got it. But when I asked the little kids, like three or four, if they'd seen my henway, they said, what's a henway? And I said three or four pounds, and they started looking for it. And when the other kids came along and asked what they were doing, they said, we're looking for Uncle Jamie's henway. And then for hours, they were looking everywhere for my henway under the sofa and under the chairs. And it could go on for days like that. Mr. Speaker, we're all looking for the Republican Party's henway. It just weighs three or four pounds, but it's costing us tens of millions of dollars. So please forgive me for spoiling the party here, but I want to say this to America. There is no henway. And this stupid, blundering investigation is keeping us from getting any real work done for the people of America. I yield back. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.